Good morning and welcome to The Dog Show, your source for latest Empire news and sports. I'm your host, Mace Monteith. And I'm Ava Boozer. We are on a day early this week, but we'll be back on our normal time next Friday. Our top story this week, our band has a busy weekend ahead of them. Our reporter, Jade McCray, talked with Miss Herring about what we have going on. Thanks, guys. I'm here today with our band director, Miss Herring. Miss Herring, thanks for joining us today. No problem. So, can you tell everyone what's going on this weekend with band? This weekend, we have what's called Solo and Ensemble. It is considered our regional contest, and we have two ensembles performing and one soloist. Oh, okay. And what will our band kids have to do? Um, as the big ensemble, there are 18 of them. They will have to perform one song um, for a judge. And then there is a duet. That's our other ensemble. And again, all of them have to perform in front of a judge, but it just varies on how many. So the soloist and the duet will also then have to perform in front of their judges as well. And so they have to play their music. doesn't have to be memorized, but has to be very good quality. Okay. And what's the next step after this if they advance? They have to earn what rating is called a one. Um, our rating scale is on a one to five. One is the best. So if they get a one this weekend um, on any of them, they each, all three are separate events. If they each get a one, they will all advance onto state, which will take place in the middle of April. Okay. Uh, thanks, Miss Herring, and good luck to the band. We'll have the results of the competition on next week's dog show. And now back to you in the dog show studios. We will let you know the results on next week's dog show. Earlier this week, we had our second round of parent-teacher conferences. It was a good turnout, and the faculty and staff want to thank First Baptist and Duncan for providing dinner. This week, select sixth graders attended a creative writing workshop in the SeaTac in Duncan. It's a hands-on workshop where kids learn tips and tricks to use while doing creative writing. A reminder that the Miss Empire pageant will be here before you know it. Keep checking the Miss Empire Facebook page for more information. In the weeks leading up to the pageant, look for more stories and interviews about the pageant. And now it's time for another Senior Spotlight. This week, we take a look at Senior Brianna Kenny. Hello, my name is Brianna Kenny, and this is my Senior Spotlight. I have been going to Empire since my first grade year, and I am involved in Stuco, NHS, the Empire Band, and HOSA at Red River. Uh, I am Vice President of HOSA and I am the drum major of the uh, Empire Band and I am also class secretary of the senior class. Um, my favorite memory at, memory at Empire is hitting Coach A in the head at softball practice even though I told him to put a helmet on and I think he's okay. Like this? <laughs> he seems okay. Anyways, I want to say a special thank you to Miss Herring because she has helped me find my passion for music and she has always been there to, for an outlet to talk to. And I also want to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me and just being supportive and all. So, thank you. Don't forget that today and every Thursday, Bulldogs for Christ meets in Miss Sullivan's room at lunchtime. And also, next week is going to be another busy week for the FFA. There will be stock shows going on all week at the Stevens County Fairgrounds. Before we go over to the Bulldog broadcast, here's another Bulldog spotlight, when, where we get to know some of the faces on campus. This week, we have freshmen Reagan Rochel and Cutter Rochel. I'm Cutter Rochel, and I'm in ninth grade. I'm Reagan Rochel, and I'm a freshman. This is the Bulldog spotlight. We're related somehow, but not sure how. My favorite thing to do is eat because I think food tastes good. Something interesting about me is I have a state pageant title. My favorite subject is math because you can use a calculator to get the answer. My favorite animal is probably a dog because they're cute. My favorite animal probably be a monkey just because they're funny. My favorite time of year is summer and it's probably because I'm dark and I get to hang out with friends. I like winter because I hate hot weather. I like the cold better. I'm more of a night owl because I don't like the mornings because I don't like waking up early. I like night because I don't like waking up early either. And that's it. Ava. Do you know what I'm going to say here? Here's this week's prize pups. You're not supposed to say what I'm actually going to say. 
You're just supposed to say, yeah, Mace, I know. My bad. Here's this week's prize pups. I just said that. Hi, my name is Matt McDaniel, and I got and I got an award for 300,000 words. My name is Ava, and I got an award, award for 300,000 words. My name is Catherine, I read 300,000 words. Hello, my name is Trinity Heldenbrand, and I got these awards. Hi, I'm Anna Hector, and I got an award for 3,000 words. My name is Riley Fielden, and I passed addition and extra math. I'm Peyton, and I got a... a a word for extra math. Hey, my name is Heisman Hayes, and I got first place in Moby Max, and I finished extra math sec my second time. My name is Briar Jackson, and I got a award for division in extra math and multiplication, and getting third place in Moby Max and finishing extra math. Hi, my name is Braley, and I got an award for finishing subtraction in extra math and finishing addition. Hi, my name is Grace Higgins, and I got this award for being second place in Moby Max. My name is Blaine, and I got these awards. My name is Ryder Brown, and I got these awards. My name is Kyson, and I got this award. My name is Chasen, and I got the language award in Moby Max. My name is Bentley, and I got all these rewards. Hi, my name is Ryan, and I got all these awards. My name is Addie and I got these awards. My name is Liliana and I completed 10 lessons in math. My name is Alyssa Wiley and I got these awards. My name is Vanessa Garcia and I got these awards in Movie Max. My name is Michael and I got this award from Movie Max. My name is Audrey and I got these award, this award. Hi, I'm Brooks. I got an award for Movie Max. I'm Miguel and I got an award for Movie Max. My name is Riley and I got an award for Moby Max. Hi, my name is Wyatt and I got um awards in Moby Max. Uh, my name is Zach and I got an award in Moby Max. Hi, my name is Tinley and I got an award in Moby Max. My name is Zach and I got an award in Moby Max. My name is Sarai and I got an award for Moby Max. Hi, my name is Trini and I got an award in Moby Max. Hi, my name is Alexis and I got an award for Moby Max. Hi, my name is Jalen and I got two awards on Moby Max. Hi, my name is Chloe, and I got an award. Hi, my name is Maya, and I got four rewards for Moby Max. My name is Jacqueline Brown, and I had 120,000 awards. My name is Carson, and I got an award for reading 860,000 words. My name is Jameson Ashford, and I got an award for 180,000 words. My name is Bristol Jackson, and I got 140,000 words. I am, my name is Suzanne and I got an award for uh, 140,000 words. Hi, I'm Shiloh and I got 20,000 words. <laughs> my name is Dita I had a, an award for 60,000 words. My name is Ulysses and, and I got an award for 100,000 words. Hi, I'm Trevor Fowles and I got a, I got an award for getting over 340,000 words. Okay. My name is Gavin Buck and I got an award for uh, 120,000 words. And I got 180,000 words. My name is Cherokee Elwood and I, I read 20,000 words. Hi, my name is Zach and I read 6,000 words. My name is Emma and I have 120,000 words. Hi, my name is Austin and I read 100,000 100, words. That was over 50 prize pups. Great job, elementary. Every week we want to recognize elementary students and their classroom achievements. Congratulations to our Empire Archery team. This past Tuesday they competed in the state competition in OKC and finished in the top 10. Yes, we had um, an elementary team. We can take 16 to state, so we went to the state tournament yesterday. There were 16 kids, two fifth graders, the rest were all fourth grade. We had a collective team score of 1721, and they placed ninth in our region in the entire state. Good job, Mrs. Hill. Today is the last day of the book fair. If you haven't yet, come by and look for your favorite book or book series. The money goes to help out Miss Lucini and the library. 
Before we take a look at Bulldog Sports, here's a look at your Bulldog forecast. And we have more hardware. Last weekend, the Empire Girls basketball team brought home a district championship by easily beating Rock Creek. The girls compete in the winner's bracket of regionals this evening at 6 at Caddo against Caddo. Win or lose, the girls will play the rest of the regional tournament this weekend at Geronimo. The high school girls also brought home this season's Oilfield Conference championship. The high school boys season came to an end on the opening night of district play, falling in the final minutes to Rock Creek. The boys end the season with a 14-9 record. Another season coming to an end is the Emperor High School girls wrestling season. Saren Shelton was our lone girl competing this year. The Empire High School boys wrestling team will be competing tomorrow and Saturday in regionals at Perry with a chance to advance to the state meet. The Empire powerlifters started their season last week at Apache. In the junior high, Ada McGregor placed second in his weight class and Michael Whetstone placed third in his. The following day, high schooler Eric Reza placed second in his weight class and Ariana Goldsberry placed first in hers. And finally, before you know it, baseball season starts. Mark the date, February 27th will be the season and home opener for the dogs. That's a look for your week of Bulldog Sports. Now back to you in the Dog Show Studios. Before we go, and since Shelby just finished telling us about Empire Wrestling, the Nanny Stunt Gnome Company is here to show us what wrestling is all about. Welcome back to the Dini Stunt Double Company. Since we were last on, we decided to go away with the death-defying stunts. Emery suffered some sly head trauma as a result of the last stunt, but she's fully recovered and ready to go. Right, Em? Today, since wrestling season's winding down, we're going to demonstrate how and how not to wrestle. Em, put on your headgear. You ready? This is how a wrestling match should go. Shake hands. Wrestle. And this is how not to wrestle. Shake hands. Wrestle. Get him! Get him! Get him in the chair! Get him in the chair! Get him in the chair! Get him in the chair. Thank you for watching the DNA Stunt Double Company. Until next time. That's all the time we have for the dog show this week. Next week, you can look for new spotlight segments focused on Empire seniors and students, along with all the updated Empire news and sports. Before we go, don't forget to check out all of our EMP content on our various social media platforms, especially our Empire Media Productions 21 TikTok page and the EMP Dogcast with LB10 and Carson on your favorite podcasting site. Be excellent to each other, Empire. This is Empire.